the Qualifier 2 World Bass Tour, and the World Bass Tour tournament rules are as follows for Qualifier 2. It's uh, your best 10 bass, a mixture of spotted and unique largemouth. Um, everybody's going to be going for the largemouth, but we will get a few misses, I'm sure. Especially on the bowfin. I did a couple practice rounds um, off and on today. Mixed luck, so I don't really uh, expect too much. I had a couple good practice runs, uh, but anywhere from 5 to 10 unis, maybe 12 tops, and that's probably all going to depend. Definitely hit and miss. I got several different lures that I kind of like as a go-to and a few others that I might throw on just depends on what happens so all right and we're off Those flags are annoying. Again, for any guys joining in, we're going for a mainly largemouth bass. The uh, name of the game at the end, again, it's just going to be the count of your unis. Uh, the scores didn't seem to be as high today. I'd practice with my friend John. He was going to join me as well, but uh, he had an extremely long day at work, so he's going to try to play in the morning. This is a two-hour tournament. Why is... Man, those banners are loud. Didn't expect that. That's a nice one, but it could be a bowfin. Got him over here before. I've been slaying bowfin when I was practicing in this thing, so no guarantee. It looks like it might be a nice bass. Be a 10 pounder? Ah, close. Jer started out hot. Good job, Jer, bro. I guess I could have just spawned over here a little quicker. Hold on a second, I gotta write something down.
there's spawn timers on this so i'm trying to write down when i caught something so i don't get lost this uh i love this this map or this lake we're at quanchkin lake here and uh but the docks man these docks always get me confused so i was working on a little routine today just gonna see how we turn how it turns out it definitely seemed hot and cold in other words i could end up with four unis or 12 i have no idea And I caught a couple unis a day practicing for this thing that were only seven pounds, which is crazy low. But the scores don't be appear to be as high as they were in qualifier one. Probably rotate between a spoon, spinner, and mainly a bass jig. I think uh, in this lake, I think they might top out the uni uh, large amount around 11. I don't think they even hit 12. This one just missed it. One thing I've noticed uh, here, and the difference from here in the Everglades where I fished yesterday, the, uh, I can catch them at the midpoint or the bottom of the water column. So I've been kind of focusing on that area. Maybe a small trough here just to come.
try to rotate a lot, but if something gets hot, I'll stick with it. Couple more minutes here. If I don't get a uni, I'm gonna rotate out. Try not to get stuck at one spot too long, just in case there's a uni biting somewhere else. Holy cow, Jer got a flathead. He must be fishing with a shadow or a. Uh... Crankbait or something. Crawl, maybe? Yes, I seen that thing following it. Almost pulled out just in. There we go. There's two small ones though. All right, hold on. One forty-eight uni two. And you guys popping in and out. Uh, like I said, I've had mixed runs on these things. I did a couple practice runs today and uh, kind of up and down. Again, just looking to have fun. Again, kind of what we don't want to happen now, uh, whether however many units we catch, we just hope that we don't get one that's uh, seven pounds. Kind of general rule of thumb I've been following on all the spots I rotate to, if I don't have one, just like I would in any of the video clips I put up, if I don't have a good biter. Something three to five cast, I'll usually move on. Come back to it. Which is starting to look like this spot. And just to be safe, I'll try a different lure. And cast shorter. That's three casts, so we're out of here. I guess I can spawn around to 
save myself a few walking seconds but I don't get lost. There gotta be these banners. They don't have to make noise. It's distracting. No, another uni. Holy, hold on here. I gotta write this down. Not doing bad. I got three unis fairly quick, however. None of them are in the ten, so... To be honest, I don't really like this spot. This spot right here, I don't really like. I got so many bowfin right here. I haven't really found a way to isolate them out entirely, so... This is not my favorite spot. There's a good seven to probably ten spots to catch uniques in here. I just wasn't for sure how many overlap or not. So I think I got part of it figured out. But uh, no guarantees. In other words, I'll be retracing my steps at some point and going back over those spots. That's why I was trying to write the time down so I could remember. 30 minute respawn. And that's another issue everybody's going to run into. Anybody that might be watching this later, there's plenty of snags. I haven't really seen a difference between spinners, spoons, and bass jigs. Now, bass jigs should be weedless. I think I mentioned that yesterday for anybody that might have watched the uh, qualifier one that I streamed. I know in real life uh, I can definitely cast a bass jig on lily pads or anything like this. Again, if you guys look at the leaderboard right now, uh, I've started this turn a lot later than most of the people did, but you can see uh, those things. Looks like the highest one's 11.4 pounds, so that's a, a massive one. So I'm already kind of under the under the gun, so to speak. I got three uniques fairly quick, but they're all in the nines. So again, that's going to put me way behind. Cold too, huh?
buddy Jer there looks like he's finding the bowfin. I'm sure they're headed my way here soon. This spot where they're going to be dead. Spotted, yeah. Notice in this spot, the uh, if you get a bite up real close, it's going to be a spotted most of the time. There's one that's probably a bowfin. Got to be a bowfin when that thing's fighting. There ain't no way that's a bass. That's why I didn't really like this spot. I remember doing the recaps. There's a ton of... Oh, no, and I'm already releasing. So now I'm probably have to sit here and wait and rotate and go through the uh, bow fin to try to get a unique bass. So I might have to stick this out over here. I've seen this cycle out before. Normally you can come start getting the bass after the bow fin. There's a nice bass. Is that a uni too? That is a uni. That was quick. All right, so I got four. All right, I got four in 23 minutes. That's not a bad start. Was that 137? guys are following along the 30 minute respawn I've caught four so uh, I can just always rotate back to those spots in the event that the uh, other spots aren't active I'm trying to remember I think it was spot what spot was it? right here I know I got this one where did I not get it at is it here Yeah, I don't think I got this
something nice too. That might be a bowfin though. Mm -mm. Another trophy bass. Release that. Any of you guys that might have caught my last live stream qualifier one, my very last uni, I accidentally threw it away. So I've been trying to pay a little closer attention. And my second weed patch here. Great. One second. At least we know this spot's active now. This lower here is definitely on fire. Good grief. All right, we are doing phenomenal for the start. I got to write that down. Hold on one second. That was caught at 134. Thirty four, so one oh four. So one twenty six. Good grief. I didn't expect to start this hot. Uh Well now I gotta fish some weird spots until they uh respawn. This is the fastest run I've had. I'm glad I saved it for the tournament. My practice runs what not was not this good, man. What's up, Mariska? How you doing, buddy? Playing in the uh, World Bass Tour Qualifier 2. Yeah, I'm sorry about last night. I was going to get on and stream for you guys, but uh, I lost my internet for a while, and then by then I was tired, and next thing you know, uh, that I ended up wanting to spend some time with my wife, and uh, so we watched some TV and then just crashed. I had to go to work early in the morning, too, so... But again, any of you guys tuning in, we're off to a really good start. Got uh, several, we got four uniques, I think, in 27, or five uniques in 27 minutes, but uh, a couple good size ones, and then kind of three mediums, so we're not, we're off to a pretty good start. I'm on the spots that I really don't like to fish. I might have to switch to a popper, or, I mean a walker, or a uh, frog popper, or a frog or something. I don't really like this spot. Do not like this spot at all. Hold on, guys. I'm going to try uh, something different. Not liking this spot. I have to cast through all these weeds and everything. Sometimes you can get it to go through, but other times you can't. You have a big catfish as a pet. That's awesome. You got it in a little pond or 
You got into an aquarium or something. Any of you guys tuning in wondering what that sound is? It's these banners flying in the wind. Rather annoying. Oh, in a small pond. That's cool. I was wondering, I was going to say, if you're a catfish, you'd have to have a really big aquarium, bro. Okay, now at 120, 126, I can go back to the other spots. I'm going to fish this spot for three or four minutes, and I'm going to rotate right back through my first round. In other words, I don't want to sit over here catching a bunch of other stuff when I know the fish are going to respawn. Could be seeing me pulling out a lot of weeds. Oh, good job, bro. Yeah, that Mad Eye Buffalo one, that was a good fun one. I didn't think that Perch Bully fought too too hard, if it's the same one I'm thinking of. But the, uh, the Mad Eye Buffalo was a fun one. I think it's where you had to get the uh, invisible line or something there at uh, Lone Star. Yeah, that was a fun mission. It's a bow fan. No, it's a bass. Releasing that because it's a spotted. That's what I was figuring, worrying about right there. I think I'm going to go over here instead. See what happens here. I was picking up a bunch of spotted over there. Spotted bass, they count, but they don't get big enough to uh, waste your time on. Where 
There's a nice one in this. All right, you got a new rail and a two new rails on here and a bottom rod. Good job. All right, a couple more casts here, and I'm going to rotate back to my first spot. And we'll come back to these spots if we get hard up. What level are you now, Mariska? Like 2021? Oh, you, uh, on here, did you get up to level, uh, what were you, level 19 or something last time I heard? Is that a bow fan? This is a bass. This is insane. Is this another unique? Holy. A guy's on fire. Damn. I'm on fire. I can already go back to my first spot, too. Man, this combo is like killing it. A giant salmon, I would, uh, I'll have to make sure I don't release the wrong thing here. Uh, a giant salmon, you can, uh, at the, uh, which lake are you, which lake are you wanting to go to, man? That you're trying to get a giant salmon. Anybody tuning in, I'm fishing on the world qualifier. I've already got, uh, six uniques fairly quick, believe it or not. I'm already on my second run. Giant Savonia at Lone Star. Yes, taking uh, whatever, if you got a decent spoon, just cast it over there and drag it through the, uh, drag it through the lily pads and you'll pick up that whatever mission you're trying to do, man. Just cast a big lure right in the lily pads and eventually as you pull weeds in, it, it should, uh, grab that. Is that a uni again or a bow fan? If this is a uni again, I'm I'm a I'm on fire. I can't tell this might be a small trophy. It's gonna make my net a little better though. Is that another hog? No it isn't, but I'll take it. Yeah, the underwater weeds. Yeah, just uh I want to say to the right of the dock there, man, on that first spawn point. Just kind of cast down the weeds I am and just let it get stuck on purpose. But I would do it like on two or three speed. Go kind of slow until you get it snagged and you'll see the blue at the bottom of your little meter.
Again, guys, in this tournament, what's going to count ultimately at the end is how many unis you got. The first score is their total weight out of 10 fish. The second score is the biggest fish they caught, and that's only really for the tiebreaker. But basically, you're going to need to average all 10 pounders. And I think I got three 10 pounders and three 9 pounders, so we're not doing horrible. And we got plenty of time to fish. Hopefully, uh, we stay warm. Nonetheless, we've had a better start than I was expecting. My practice run, a couple practice runs I did, didn't do as well as I'm doing right now. So let's hope it keeps going. thing I don't like over here is having to listen to that banner. Try not to get stuck here too long, but my uni should have respawned about one hour and 25 minutes. So about five and a half minutes ago. Oh, just missed it. Something big missed it. Something missed it again. Something was falling it. Another trophy, but not big enough. tuning in we're popping in out we're uh, we're doing it fairly well we got a really hot start trying to keep the pace up but no guarantee this banner and behind me is really distracting me I'm about to turn my headset down even Another trophy? Nope. Oh, big common. Again, I'm trying to grind this spot out. I'll give it probably another five, six minutes. If I don't get it, I'll have to move. But I know the unis respawned here, so. Is it lagging now? Couldn't even get my dots to come up. May have to switch to a spinner, but this thing, man, it was so hot, I don't want to get off of it.
stayed out here and leave the shitty behind. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's good, bro. I'm glad you have Max Drag on there. Uh, it sure helps uh, when you're fighting a big fish, that's for sure. This is it. I really don't want to have to leave this shiny behind over here. Another trophy. It's 12 minutes in. Or I've been here 11 minutes. I might have to rotate here in a second. It's insane. Come on, uni. That's the way this game goes. You start out harder than a firecracker and then just one spot kills you somewhere. Decent fish, but I don't think it's a, definitely not a uni. bro that's fine yeah I'm, I'm not talking too much because i'm trying to focus as well so i appreciate you stopping by man cast man I wasted way too much time right here but my other spot should be warm hopefully when I get there I'm gonna try one more cast here if I don't get this thing then so be it This might be decent. Well, it's a bowfin. Why wouldn't it be? Ah, uh, the spot's destroying me.
This might be decent. As long as it's not a bowfin. Is it a bowfin? I love bowfin. I love bowfin. My favorite fish to catch. Okay, this spot's destroyed me. Absolutely destroyed me. And I'm just like being at a freaking card table and you can't get up when you know you're losing. Anybody that tuned in at this moment, I got six unis really quick, came back to my second run, and I got hung up on this spot on the respawn on the second time around. I'm having a chess match with this uni over here. I think I might have just got him. <sighs> if this is a bowfin, I'm going to cry. Nope, I ain't a bowfin. But it's just a small trophy. Of course it is. How is that possible? Okay, I'm going one more cast. I, I can't help it. I can't help it. Anybody that's watching this is probably laughing. This is me in a nutshell. I, I get determined. And I know a uni's respond here. This has to be the last cast. One loser draw right here. Okay, the spot. <sighs> oh, now the pickerel are moving in. Great, I love pickerel. Should be a fresh uni over here waiting for me. Odd. First one of those I caught here.
I'm not even gonna waste my time here. Spots already got me annoyed. That spot has already got me annoyed. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to switch the spinner and then it'll give me a trophy spotted. Goodbye, spot drill. I've been using the express all along anyway. I don't even know I got that stupid spot drill on here. I don't like it in this lake. Either way. I need to get a drink real quick.
What is going on? So sick of the freaking weeds. This is pathetic. Well, this game's just punishing me now. Starts me off with a really hot streak and then I go to nothing after that. Uh oh. Zero lost connection or he just gave up. Let's go lower. What's going on here? This is really frustrating. I'm not gonna lie this time. I just don't know how A half hour respawn. There's no way. All my fish respawn so quick it's not even funny. Now they don't bite. from those flags. I can't sit and listen to them anymore. Where's the fish finally? About dang time. About time. That's a nice one. Okay, I gotta release that. Hit the buttons carefully. There we go. It's 26, I can catch that one again. Alright, fish this out. I love bowfin. Way through the bowfin and try to find a large mouth. That's the name of the game. Daddy, hit the button slowly. Where did I get? Okay, those two spots are done. can go here and there. OK, 
All right, so 25 minutes left. I can hit those other two spots. Come on. Any of you guys tuning in, we're in the World Bass Tour Tournament Qualifier 2 on Fishing Planet. We're doing extremely well. I found one lure. I'm just, I'm just on fire with it. Other than that, I caught one, I think, on a spinner. But I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight unis. Uh, you can't get tree bark. Are you trying to get it at a mud water? Um, there's a, to get the Dadro spoon, you're going to want to use like a big, uh, again, a big lure over there, but you want to go over, I can't remember what spawn point, uh, YouTube, a guy, oh uh, shoot, I can't remember what, sp uh, what spawn it is, bro. There's the spawn where there's the tree on the left. And you're going to want to do like a whatever big hook, uh, probably whatever the biggest hook that you have uh, on a lure, like a 5.0. If you have anything that's like a 5.0. And you want to just keep casting it, reel it slow right next to those trees on the spawn point that's got a tree on the left side. I think it might even be that first spawn. That's where I got all mine if you're trying to get that dead row spoon. If not, look, uh, there's another YouTube guy that I used to watch for the missions and stuff back in the day when I first started. Like I said, I'm not a, I got my missions done, but I haven't put any guides up on missions. That's funny, bro. I got to focus, too. Be a bass, please. No, it's a ball fan. <sighs> oh, don't start doing this to me. I'm having such a good run. And now I'm going to pull in crap.
Any guys bouncing in and out? I'm not talking too awful much on this one, believe it or not. I'm just trying to focus right now. If I can get three more unis that are decent sized, I have a chance. There's no way this spot's dead. Is this spot dead? Oh, this is annoying. What a bass. Okay, now the bass are active. I gotta keep trying here. Are you kidding me right now? to look it up bro like i said I, i'm trying to help you best i can but i'm writing it yeah i know i keep getting snagged bro all right this spot's just screwing me over junk spot's junk This is insane. It's going to dangle this right in front of me. I think basically I need eight pounds so I can get close to qualifying. That's two unis that are nice.
bass, but I don't think it's cool enough. No, it ain't a bass, it's a bowfin. Bringing in the bowfin for days. Oh, be a bass, please. Be a bass and not a bowfin. All right. Hold on now. Release. And then keep. All right, babe, look. I need one more uni bass. I need one more uni bass and I might have a chance at this thing. I got 41 minutes. I know you're engulfed in your book, but my dorky fishing game that I love, I'm doing good on it. I'm kidding, guys. It's not dorky. We love this game, right? Here's the scenario. I need one ten, one more 10 pound bass to have a chance. And I got 42 minutes to do it. Is that finally that? Oh, that's a bowfin, ain't it? Of course it is. Oh, if that's not a bowfin, this is a hog bass, then. Might be a bowfin. I ain't getting my hopes up yet. If this is a bass, this is going to put me up. I got to make sure I push the buttons right. Last night on live stream, I released a, a unique bass like an idiot. Oh, it needed to be bigger. I don't know. That's going to give me three pounds, I think. 3.6. I'm in 11th. All right, I'm in 11th, guys. Let me look at the... Uh, I got to pay attention on every fish I catch. Make sure I don't hit the wrong button like a doofus. I can gain a pound. See how this works, guys? It's your best 10 fish. So I got 10 uniques with like 42 minutes left, and everything's going to be on a fresh respawn, too. So I need to get... All I can gain is 0.4, right? Unless I get a 10.7 or something. So I can gain a full pound if I get like a 10.7. So I need a 10.7 or 10.4. Well, I got a chance, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I need a drink too, guys. Give me a second.
guys, I'm gonna... Where should I go? Back to that one spot. Like 25 minutes left, I can go to the other spot. So I should probably go here. Fish this out. We are in top 20 right now. Top 20 qualifies, but I need to get another pound or two. Right in the weeds. But I cannot get a bite for nothing. The spot's being hideous to me now. I wonder if I should bring out a popper, man. This is one of those scenarios I gotta just switch it up and try something different. Oh, and it's lagging. Why would it lag right now? What is going on?
Ah, oh, this game just loves to torture people. I mean, bad, bro. I'm the giant weed slayer. Released the wrong fish. Oh, this spot's doing me dirty now. This spot is doing me dirty. Oh, come on. This spot is horrible right now. I only caught one uni here in this qualifier, so I'm trying to. I know there's one here, in other words. And it might be a bigger one because he's been stubborn the second time around. Like that. That's not a bowfin. It should be a nice one. Oh no. I gotta be careful. See, I got a uni there, but it's too small. I need a 10 pounder better. I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Make sure I hit release. Alright, so now I should be able to start back over, basically. Yeah, when was that? 25? It would have been 25 when I had that left, so I can go... 
I think I can go back here now. Or actually, did I get one over here? You know what? Let me do a couple casts here and then I'll start over. And you guys that might watch this later that fast forwarded to the end of this, basically you can see where I'm at. I got a full net. I've caught actually 11 unis. I just threw one away. Started out hot, went cold, and then I kind of warmed back up a little bit. Got stuck in a couple places and got stubborn when I probably should have rotated, but uh, I ended up kind of getting through it. So hopefully I can get one more and get another... If I could get another pound, that'd be great, because I don't feel too secure just yet with a uh, considerable amount of time for people to play, not to mention people that uh, wait and kind of watch what was going on on everybody's streams and stuff. But again, I'm just trying to have fun, but you know, I, di I didn't expect to do this good when I came into this, so... I'm ex ex uh, actually excited, so hopefully I can uh, be fun to play in the semifinals. I didn't even look to see where it is. And I won't until I know I've qualified, I guess. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. a big one that just missed it. I don't think this one's it. Different one had it. Now this is the moment I gotta pay attention guys. If any of you guys watch my first uh the end of my first qualifier I actually released a uni. It wouldn't have mattered anyway because I would have just had 99 pounds instead of 97 but nonetheless in this situation one one false push of the button and that's all she wrote. <laughs> The odd part is the lure that I end up doing good in this, um, I did all right with it a couple times in practice, but I switched to it right at the end and was just rotating around. I was actually having more luck with the uh, old trusty, the old trophy 3-0 uh, spoon, believe it or not, the old silver one. There's another toad, maybe. Okay, that's another another fish released. Make sure I hit circle. That's another uni, so now I can rotate. I released two unis. So I've caught 12 unis, guys. Anybody keeping track? Probably not, but I am. It's 12 unis. Just enough time maybe to get two more. It depends on how they're biting.
one thing I've noticed, anybody that watches this, hopefully my friend John watches the part of this, if not all my stream, but a lot of people fish that from over there. I, I've had, if I don't get it from over here, then I'll rotate over, but I, I can get it on this side. In other words, it could be on either side. The fish do swim. I'm trying, Yodler. I, uh, well, I couldn't see my meter because all the chat, uh, oh, I couldn't see the meter because of the chat. I got to figure that out, put that chat somewhere else. Uh, basically, I need, to, if I could get two more unis, it's the top 20 and I can move on to semifinals. I don't know for sure if this score will hold, but I need another, I got 22 minutes left to get another 10 pounder and I can gain a pound, so I'll be up at 101 pounds. So I'd love to get one more. I need one more uni. Largemouth bass. Mariska, if you're still there, look at, uh, when you get a chance, look at Bubbles YouTube if you couldn't figure out. But basically you want to go over there to that uh, the tree up Mudwater and just cast on both sides of it. It takes a while, but eventually you'll get all the tree bark right off of that. Where that tree sticks out where you catch both in and stuff. I want to say it's the uh, default spawn where it first spawns you in. Since I didn't get it over here, and it not, should just now be respawning, so I might have just missed the respawn by a couple minutes. That's assuming they'll give this one to me again.
my old trusty. He was hot in the practices. I didn't get to use him much on this, but uh, this lure actually does good. I stayed with what was hot, and I caught all of them, I think, 8 out of the 12 on one lure. Come on now. I was going to say it's a little cold now. Release. a good sign then that means the spot's activated again. Come on, give me one more 10 pounder. Oh, it did. It did, Ty. It gave me a 10 pounder. Hold on, I got to release, square, and then keep. Oh, daddy. Me likey. Whew, yes. Babe, I got a legitimate chance. Are you happy? Your husband's making the world tour qualifier. Semi-qualifiers, maybe. Maybe. Shouldn't count at Port Hatches, but I'm in sixth. <sighs> that was clutch. That was clutch. Babe, you're supposed to be more excited for me. You excited back there? So excited. Real excited? All right. If I can get one more, I can be in the top five. Mm. 
Get back and get one more 10 pounder, guys. That'd be awesome. Boy, I'd like to get one more 10 pounder. Give me one more 10 pounder. Sounding good. I can tell you this on the second hour for anybody that watched that well everybody's going to be different but I had one of those rounds where I started out on fire and then I went slow I got hung up in one spot with the chess match with a stubborn uni I'm just hoping for one more 10 pounder that'd be great that gave me a pound. Another not one spot I caught all my spots should be fresh. So I got a chance to catch one more if I can get in the zone again. big one that messed it. Small. A nice one too. Come on, old trusty, pull me out a ten pounder right here at the end so we can close this deal.
trophy spot and I don't want that. This is decent. Release it. Stick with it. Caught the trophy, might get the uni. Come on, pull in a 10 pounder. Oh, fan, oh, fan. Being very careful, guys. Don't want to dump a fist now like I did in the first one. Good grief. Any of you guys tuning in, bouncing in and out? We're right down to the nitty gritty. We're in the uh, top 10, believe it or not, in the World Bass Tour qualifier number two. We've had a heck of a run. Started out hot, went slow. I got stubborn like I do on my second go around. Got hung up on a stubborn uni, ended up leaving him behind, and I went on fire again after that and picked up a bunch of 10-pounders. So now the scenario is you never know in these things, so I'm going to count my chickens before they hatch, but i got six minutes left. I'd like to get one more 10-pounder. My net is absolutely full of, uh, I want to say i got seven 10-pounders and three decent nines, and I've had to throw two or three unis away, I think. It's the best 10-fish. So now I'm just looking. In other words, I just threw three nine pounders away. I need a ten pounder. Ten pounder to gain any gain any points, and I have to be careful on every click. The uh, my first qualifier, I actually threw away a uni at the end. Wouldn't have mattered. That would have put me at uh, from 97 to 99 pounds. It was already unreachable to get the top 20, but this time it is. So I got to make sure I'm paying attention here. I've got two or three trophies right here, and I'm trying to just grind this out and get this uni because sometimes when you get a stubborn one like that, it might be a bigger one. Oh. Could also be a bow fin. I think this is a bass, though. Yeah. How many trophies? Is that a trophy, too? How many trophies are over here, bro? This guy's got all kinds of blockers. It's definitely a chess match. Like the king's back there with a bunch of pawns and rooks in front of him. Oh. What is that? I can't tell. Might be decent. No, it might be a bow fin too. Or is it a uni? Is it a little toad? He don't feel very big though. There's old trusty. He brought in a nine pounder. That's 14 uniques I think I've caught, guys. Oh, trusty. Hit the right button. Hit circled. Don't be an idiot. Oh, okay, where, let's see, should we go there? No, we're going to have to go, should we go where it all started? Let's do it. Let's go where it all started. 
up here is where I had this chess match with this Jenny on my second go around. Let's see if we can bring him out again. One more time. We've got three minutes. The thing that was getting on my nerves is having to listen to this banner. Fishing Planet, can you at least mute that for me? Now, this is not an ideal lure for anybody that's watching, but uh, I like it. They do like casting spoons. A lot of people forget that. Not the best for weed, so I don't recommend it for everybody. In other words, I'll cast out sometimes and pull on weeds, which wastes time, but like that, let it go through. Keep on working it. Almost got him hit it on the fall. He hit it. He just missed it. The thing you'll notice after you, any guys that are watching this thing, your first hour, they're going to act differently than they do that second hour. The second hour, they are a little harder to get for sure, for me at least. I know everybody's round can be different, but in other words, you might, oh wow. In other words, you might have to uh, alternate your retrieves, stop and go, twitch, sometimes just Work it across the bottom, figure out what water column they're in. Sometimes I just like to let it fall. And they'll head it on the fall, change speeds to... Ooh, missed it. Oh, no, you got it. It's small one now. I think it's small. Oh, I don't know. Trophy, probably. I just got to make sure I hit the right button, whatever I do. Yeah, trophy. Release. Oh, hit. Oh, don't hit the wrong button, genius. A right, minute and 30 seconds. Oh, nice lag spike right when I was casting. Oh, that was close. I don't know how I still hit the mark. Again, what I start doing is covering a lot of the water column. On that second round for sure. The first round they were in the lower third for me. Don't know if it'll be the same for you. This is how we're going to end it. I'll show you guys my net if anybody's curious. And we picked up a pickle too as collateral damage. Oh, I thought I hit the wrong release. Oh, I would have been pissed. All right, guys, we're looking at the, uh, if we can stay in this, the uh, tournament. Let's see here. How much time's left on this thing? There's 11 hours left, so somebody could pass me, but I'm sitting in a good spot. The top 20 will move on to the semis. If it is the semis and I absolutely make it and my score holds on here, like I said, there's a lot of people that could still play in 11 hours. So we're sitting at 101 points and we're in seventh place. So we did good. I think we had, looking at our net... We threw away three unis. Okay, it's over. Time's up. All right. There we go. All right, guys. Here's how we finished. 11 minutes left, or 11 hours left and eight minutes. We're in seventh place, so.
taking that screenshot. All right, guys, thanks for whoever turns in and whoever watches. I hope this uh, helps somebody, but I'm going to end the stream now. And Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Take care and have a good evening.